Tamaya's on. She got it. Do you want to go on and take a look through your books? As I began this project, naturally, I tried to pinpoint what exactly dedication is separate from the virtues we recite every morning during the school pledge, but the closer I looked at things, the more I saw something else. Dedication, in fact, is varied and expressed in all sorts of ways reflective of the population here. Or, in other words, dedication speaks with many voices. I'm dedicated to my students. I'm dedicated to their success. Uh, I come in every morning way before I'm supposed to in order to make sure everything's ready for them. I stay late after school. Um, I spend lunch times with them in order to make sure they have the tools they need to be successful. Later on down the line, when you're on your way to college, I love to uh, hear from you, hear how you've done with your life. That's what I'm dedicated to. I am dedicated to my black shirt, which means I enjoy my academics because in life it's hard, and the only way I found myself is through education. I know I want to be someone in life, and that's what dedication means to me. Everywhere I looked, I found sometimes contrasting examples of the way dedication showed itself. Sometimes it was quiet and focused and easy to overlook if you weren't paying attention. Other times, it was loud, energetic, but nonetheless determined. I'm dedicated to step. It means that once I get on the stage, I'm going to work it out as hard as possible. Why are eighth grade always be like, oh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I am dedicated to my education. I know when I go to school, I have to be the best me I can be and get on highest honor roll to be proud of myself. I'm dedicated to STEP. I've been working on STEP for six years. When I get on that stage, I'm going to work it and do what I have to do. I'm dedicated to my family. My son plays a basketball. It makes me get closer to my cousins, and we always have a great time when we play basketball together. Oh, that's good. And I think we have one more in there. It's been said that how you do anything is how you do everything. Trailblazer staff, myself included, may annoy you with our incessant lectures on how to succeed in this life, but it's because we know that dedication stays with you from childhood into old age. You will get older. You'll want more for yourself. Whether that be a better job or a closer relationship to the ones you love, it's something you have to practice at every day. Ironically, we have students who ask, why wait for the future? I want it now, and yet say at other points, I'll hopefully figure it out later. Here's a good starting point. What are some things you're dedicated to, and what do they mean to you? Now either go get it, or hold on to it for dear life.